Welcome to Gaming in 6. Here are 20 pro tips you should know before you play Rainbow Six Extraction. Number 1. Make sure to use a smoke grenade in order to properly achieve a takedown on an elite target. Trying to sneak up while the target is moving can cause issues for you and your squad, so using smoke makes it a lot faster and safer. Killing the target normally will cause the objective to fail. 2. When you enter a room, listen to the sounds that nests make and always check your ceilings besides just the walls and corners. They can be easy to miss and cause infinite respawns if the nest is left active. Number 3. It's always a good idea to clear out the sprawl on the floor on the arch tree in case you have to move fast or get in combat. Number 4. If you do not want to waste your ammo, feel free to prone down and use your melee to clear the sprawl on the floor. Number 5. Watch out for sludges on the ceiling. They also make noise and will drop down on you when you're near them. They will also split the smaller sludges unless you use an explosive or a shotgun. Number 6. Right before you move to the next subzone, you can actually close that last door behind you in case something is chasing you and you're in a bad condition. These doors are unbreakable and will keep you safe. Number 7. Performing a takedown on a nest will grant you extra EXP. It adds up quite a lot to your EXP pool if you decide to take down a lot of nests. Number 8. Make sure to shoot off the spores on the walls and ceilings and floors or they will stick to you and explode, which might alert the Archaeans if you are close to them. Number 9. Have one of your squad partners, or yourself, shoot the capture target to piss them off and kite them towards the extraction point. Make sure to have a safe path routed off first before you proceed in kiting the creature towards the extraction point. Number 10. If your teammate has spores attached to them, you can get rid of them by pressing the melee button. That will destroy the spores and they won't explode. Your teammates can do the same for you. Just make sure you are near each other. Number 11. If you are in a squad and your teammate is pulling out the MIA operator from the arch tree, you can help them by destroying the anchor points when they open up. If you are the one rescuing the MIA operator, ask them to shoot the anchor points for you instead. Number 12. If you find yourself in a pickle, use a smoke grenade to take down the enemies and escape the area to safety without causing too much noise and chaos. It will also net you a bunch of EXP points. Number 13. If you shoot a breacher to the face, the giant explosive sack on their back can still be used as an explosive trap against further oncoming enemies. 14. If you're playing as a dock operator, make sure to always top yourself off with your healing pistol before heading into the next subzone. You'll most likely find more ability supply crates to replenish your healing for more. Number 15. Look carefully on the floor for little red fleshy flash mines sticking out and use your weapons to destroy them. If you step on one of them, you will get the flash of your life and most likely end up dead on higher difficulties. Number 16. Not only can you use smoke grenades to get out of tough situations, you can also use them to clear a batch of enemies in a whole nest as demonstrated here. Be smart with your smoke grenades and know when to utilize them. Number 17. Pulse Operator is really good for finding nests for your team or solo play thanks to its cardiac sensor. Nests can cause many issues for the team if activated, so they need to be destroyed when discovered. Number 18. Hibana is excellent for taking out a large group of enemies or big targets such as the Smashers thanks to her X Kairos ability. It fires off explosives that can also be remotely detonated and stick to any surface. They also ignore all armor. Number 19. Tachanka is excellent for the defensive missions such as sabotage or serial scan thanks to his LMG turret that can be set up either for himself or his squad mates. At level 10, he can set up two LMG turrets which is extremely helpful to cover multiple sides of the room. And finally, number 20, while doing a sabotage mission or serial scans, make sure to close all the doors you possibly can in the room that you need to defend in. This will buy you time and force the Archaeans to break through the walls. You may also reinforce walls if you wish. Granted, you may not have enough reinforced walls to cover the entire room as a solo player unless you are in a full squad of 3. And this has been 20 pro tips you need to know before you play for Rainbow Six Extraction. For more video and content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching!